Do you know what kerning is? And is it even important? What is up people, welcome back. Tom here with another graphic design tips video. Remember, I upload speed up videos on a Thursday and graphic design tutorials on a Tuesday. So subscribe to keep updated. What is kerning you might be asking? Kerning refers to the space between each letter in typography. Today we are going to look at how important kerning is in logo design and how to optimize it within your logo designs. The first thing to understand is that standard typefaces and fonts will often have kerning that can be edited to make it look more appealing and more legible. When designing a logo this is especially important as you want to make sure the text in your logo is legible at any distance as well as still looking visually appealing. One handy method to implement with your logo designs is that you can send your client two versions of the logo. One version to have the logo type closer together for when the logo needs to be enlarged and then looser kern for when the logo is scaled down smaller. One technique to use that is useful and very simple to do is to unfocus your vision when looking at the text. This enables you to see the contrast of negative space between the letters more easily. I'm sure you're going to make some weird faces looking at your screen like this, but I find it really helps. Another technique is to focus on negative space between each letter. Some letters do not kern as well as others when combined. For example, if you look at the space between LA and AV, you can see one combination is easier to kern and looks more appealing. If you familiarize yourself with typography often, then you will have a good feel of what kerns well and what does not kern very well. To ungroup each individual letter in your text in Adobe Illustrator, highlight the text, go up to Type, Create Outlines, and then go to Object Ungroup. Now you can move each letter around as you want. To summarize, kerning should always be considered as a logo design and logo type. It can make the logo easier to read and sometimes poor kerning can even make the logo illegible. Not to mention it's looking visually appealing or not. Practice makes perfect and just become familiar with professional typography. I hope you found this short graphic design video on kerning helpful. If you did, let me know by leaving a comment in the section below or drop a like, it really does help. Subscribe for weekly uploads and share this video to whoever you think might benefit from it. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.